Hey guys, Scott here from Alpha Nerd Tech, and today we're just going to do a quick unboxing and opening of a uh, another NVMe case um, for the Mac Mini. Uh, just something I want to try out. It's sub fifty bucks. Um, it's a uh, Heovant. Um, it's kind of a generic, uh, no name. I'm not sure what it is. Um, we're going to check it out today. I have not opened it. Just came in the mail. Um, claims to be Thunderbolt four capable and. Uh, 40 gigahertz, gigabyte a second. So let's see if the storage uh, case can really live up to its name and do what it says. So we'll just do a quick unboxing right here and see how it goes. All right, so let's get started on this guy. Um, pull this out of the way. And let's get her opened up. The box, oh, this one does have a pull tab. Maybe I don't need the handy knife here. Ah, oh, there we go. And let's see what's in here. Let's pull him out of the way. All right, so, ooh, I like the size. Definitely a little smaller than the my day-to-day -day over here that I use that's always plugged into my computer. And let's see what we have here. Hey, Ovan, or Vant, or however you want to say that. These things are nice, solid aluminum. And it looks like it's probably a detent style. Since I don't see any tools. Oh, that was loud. There we go. So yeah, it's definitely a detent style. Pull straight up. Got the uh, spring loaded detents here. And in the box, we have a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Claiming to be a Thunderbolt 4 cable. And we have some very, very thin thermal tape. It looks like there's two of them there. Yeah, they're very thin. And we have got the rubber NVMe SSD keepers. So let me go ahead and put this thing together with my crucial drive and we'll get on the computer and run some speed tests on it. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop. So let's just go ahead and open up Blackmagic and we'll get a baseline for five gigabytes. Um, get a baseline of the slow hard drive in my PC. So we'll just go to the documents folder open that up and we'll start it and again these mac minis are not known on, on the base model anyway the 256 they're not known for being real fast um, i do know for a fact that the 512 is quite a bit faster and i will be doing some more testing with that here soon as i just got it and uh, um, just something to try out so here we go here's our baselines so we can see we're about 17 and 27 and a half so um, we won't take a screenshot of that. We can just remember the 17 and 27 and a half. Now let's go in and select the SSD. And as we can see, it's quite a bit faster than the internal hard drive. And also, I just want to pull over something here for uh, reference. This is the Maywow that I use every day. This is my regular one, and this is a screenshot of its speeds. And this thing is a little bit faster. Um, not a whole lot. You probably won't see the difference uh, in day-to-day -day use, but it is a little bit faster. Now, I will tell you that with the supplied thermal tape, the super thin ones, um, it got super hot. These things were not even touching the case, and uh, they were... It's just not thick enough to uh, to keep this thing cool um, to get a good surface contact on the on the case itself. So I actually used some thicker ones that I have here at a roll of uh, some thermal tape, um, and it's it's warm to the touch definitely. And as it's sitting here running this test and writing and everything, um, I can hold it in my hand. I don't have my thermal camera here. I left it at work, so uh, 
I'll, I'll maybe come back and add a little blurb up to this video with the thermal camera. But it is warm. Um, and it's not hot like it was before. It was just burning up, it felt like. Um, I would not leave this plugged in as a day-to-day -day, um, drive. But for doing some quick video editing or if you just want to get some uh, data off your drone or 4K footage or something at, at a higher speed, then this is, this will definitely do it. Um, but I would if something is going to stay plugged into my PC all the time and I'm going to use it constantly, I'm going to have a fan on it. It's going to be, you know, a little bit cooler, run a little bit cooler like my uh, Maywow. And it, it, as you can see by the speeds, the Maywow is slightly slower. But if this thing had a good cooling solution or, a, a, you know, something is definitely a contender for the uh, speeds. So anyway, um, let's get into the conclusion. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's the uh, hard drive case. And when I was talking about the thermal tape, you can see I, I have my own thermal tape in there doubled up um, just to get it to connect. It, it wasn't connecting. Um, these little thin ones just are so thin. Um, it didn't seem to work very well. Didn't uh, even touch the case. So at least this way here, I got a little more heat dissipation into the aluminum case. Um, unfortunately, you're only getting it on this side, not the whole side with all the extra aluminum around it. But um, it does run warm. I, I will say it does definitely run warm. Um, so I would, again, I wouldn't, myself would not use it for a, um, like my my main going to stay plugged into the machine all the time but it's a nice little case it worked really well and if i'm just taking some files to go here and there um it worked great um fast it lives up to its speeds that it says and uh not really too much to complain about so um besides the heat i mean but yeah again it's you know it's no fan no cooling so that's it is what you get um, I would recommend replacing these guys here as they are super thin, a couple sheets of paper thick um, at the most. So, yeah, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, got some use out of it. Um, I do have another video on my Maywow if you want to check that out. Um, it is a lot better solution for me. Um, it's got the cooling fan. Um, it stays plugged in my machine all the time. It doesn't get nowhere near as warm as this one. And then I do have another one I'll be testing here shortly, next day or two, um, that they sent me. It is sent to me by the company, so, uh, um, but it's still, they didn't tell me to give any kind of review or anything. And as you can tell, I just give my opinion in these things anyway. I don't, I don't really review them. I don't really say, hey, you got to go buy this, you know. Um, if you are interested in this guy, there will be a link down below. Right now, it's 50 bucks, 49 something. Um, there might have been a 5% coupon. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and link it down below. And I hope you guys got something out of this. Like and subscribe. Thank you.